strange to think of seeing Baba again, returning to his little village after so many years. Baba, my music guru. Whenever I think of him, I have a mixture of fear and awe. For us, guru is sometimes greater even than God. He is the teacher, through whom all knowledge is passed on. When I first came to Baba in Meher, he was shocked to see me. I was a dancer in Paris in my brother Uday's troupe. Uday taught me many things during those years. He gave me a great love and respect for the beautiful traditions of my country. But I was young in those days and very spoiled. Everything excited me. Dance, painting, music. I used to fiddle with many instruments in those days, including the sitar. I dressed like a dandy and chased girls all the time. Baba would always say to me, in this life you must do one thing, and one thing persistently. But you, you are like a butterfly. If you want to learn music, you must leave everything else. When you feel you are ready, then come to me. For a year and a half, I struggled with myself. Then finally, I left Paris and came to Baba in Meher. Taking a guru was the biggest decision of my life. It demanded absolute surrender, years of fanatic dedication and discipline. I stayed with Baba more than seven years. He was a tyrant absolutely, and I was always frightened of him. Now I thank God for bringing me to Baba. What he gave me is all my life.
Baba must be almost 100 years old now. It's like returning to my own family. I wonder how he will receive me. Those months, years we spent in his little room, on one piece, one raga, until it became alive, and we both would shed tears. I am always afraid when I play. I pray I can do justice to my Guru, to my music. For me, there is always that sadness in a raga, that wanting to reach something that I know beforehand I never will. And each note is like crying out, searching.
I see myself in this young boy. He comes to me as I went to Baba so many years ago to become his disciple. I feel all over again the joy of those years. This young man waited five years to become my disciple, but he's born of a different time. He cannot come to me with the same spirit. This initiation ceremony can never really mean the same thing. It has become more of a ritual. But I believe in this tradition. It is so important for me to keep alive all I have learned and pass it on. Om Namaste Guru Vetasai Ishto Deva Sarupine Jashabakka Mardanghanti Vishabakkaan Tathashubam Om Sri Guru Vetasai Ishto Deva Sarupine In the past, this moment was beginning of all learning. The tying of a great spiritual bond between the two. But perhaps it is not enough to live in past alone. Guru Vishnu, Guru Deva, Param Maheshwara, Guru Deva, Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri, Guru Abhinu. For the future, I want to keep the traditions pure. But at the same time, I have creative urge. I have to always experiment with new things. Rada, 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 Rada,
ஆடுதான் the days in Paris with my brother Uday. I always dreamt of bringing our music to the West. Now that it is possible, I am filled with doubts and fears. Throughout my life, whenever I have reached these moments of confusion, I look to the great yogi Dart Maharaj, my spiritual guru. All that transpires with spiritual guru is something very intimate, something very personal. To me, Tart Maharaj is not so much a living person as a great force in my life. He has always been the one to put me in touch with the real strength within myself. As a Hindu, I believe blessing of Guru is the most priceless thing in life. It is a strange thing, but whenever I have needed him most, miraculously, he always appeared. At times, we would sit together for hours and converse without words. But if he wasn't there, I would have visions, dreams, and through him always found the answer. Wherever I go, Whatever doubts I may have, I feel there is within me something very sacred, very strong.
प्रपंचे विषय की मिट्टी वासना पंच विषय It is strange to see pop musicians with sitars. I was confused at first. It had so little to do with our classical music. When George Harrison came to me, I didn't know what to think. But I found he really wanted to learn. I never thought our meeting would cause such an explosion. That Indian music would suddenly appear on the pop scene. It's peculiar. But out of this, a real interest is growing. Now once more, one day Guru Deva, Jaya Jaya Gar Guru Deva, Jaya Shri Guru Deva, Jaya Jaya Guru Deva. It is in praise of the Guru. One day means. Uh, not to hell, but hell, hell, H A I L. It's so open and warm with these young people. They're so fresh, so much energy. But so many seem to be turning away from their roots. Here they have everything and they want something else. They love our music, but they are in such a hurry. I would like to give them the right approach. I want to work with students who are serious. 
create an atmosphere where they can receive the best out of our culture. I want to give them a classical base for understanding, for without it they will never realize the magic and beauty of the music. Baba, as we call him, that's my guru, he was so gifted, he was known to eat up a guru. He would go to a person and he was so fast in learning and he could do notation also. Therefore, he, he took no time at all and he used to practice whole night. His average was sleeping for two hours or three hours. There are stories about him practicing. He had long hair when he was, you know, in those days. He used to tie his hair with a cord, you know, so that while practicing, in case he felt like dozing, it would, you know, get pulled. And again, it's not, it's not funny, it's a really he did that for years. So with that fanatic zeal, can you imagine, I mean, uh, his, his elder brother got, got him to back to his village, got him married to the most beautiful girl in the village. He ran away from home at the night of the marriage. That, he, even, even that couldn't keep him. You know, his thirst for music was so great and it's fantastic, absolutely. And not only once, twice he was married. And he did the same thing second time also. <clears throat> uh, so, where was I? <laughs> Da 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 I realize many of my students have taken to our music because it is new. There is tremendous wave of interest in sitar, but there is a danger of its going wrong. They learn scales, and in a few weeks they want to play a raga completely. They'll have to demand more of themselves. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's curious how things change in this country from month to month. They are involved right now, but I feel so much impatience. You cannot simply pick up a sitar and call it Indian music. It is so much more. ओम श्रीमद् भगवतो महापुरुषस्य से विष्णु राज्ञा प्रवर्तमानस्य अद्य ब्रह्मणो द्वितीये प्रार्थे श्री श्वेत वाराह कल्पे वय वस्वतमन मंदरे अष्टाविंशतितमे युगे कल युगे प्रथम चरणे ओम जम्बु द्वीपे अमेरिका खंडे पश्चिम तीरे शालिवाहन शके अस्मिन् वर्तमाने दिवस नक्षत्रे रेवती नक्षत्रे मेष नक्षत्राश्याम अस्मिन् वर्तमाने मंत्रहीनम क्रियाहीनम भक्तिहीनम सुरेश्वर यत्पूजितम मयादेव परिपूर्णं तदस्तु मे इति श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु ओम शान्ति 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 ही दिस इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ऑल लर्निंग इट कैन नॉट मीन द सेम हियर एज इन इंडिया but I can give this young man and other students who are serious the concept of guru and disciple. Help them understand something of what it meant to me. I want to teach more and more the old traditions reach more people, spread a deeper understanding of our music. Gurukul system is one of the greatest things that has been existing in our tradition and I sincerely hope and pray that it will continue to exist because according to our tradition we consider Guru as the, the greatest emblem, emblem for all sort of learning, we respect the Guru at times more than God even. And it is the total surrendering of oneself to the Guru for whatever vidya or whatever um, art or technique or craft, it could be music, it could be yoga, it could be religious training or anything for that matter. And uh, this feeling of reverence, respect and total surrender helps one to really learn and with proper sadhana, that is, you know, discipline and work and uh, total humility one can achieve a great deal. Guruji, please say something about sadhana a disciple is expected to do. Well, sadhana is one of our very important things in all fields of art, religion, and sadhana is very difficult to explain in English. It's not just mere work or practice. It's, it's with that feeling of total surrendering to guru and reverence and dedication and fanatic zeal in working. That's all summed up in the word sadhana. And without sadhana, nothing can be achieved. And that's, that's sort of the message that uh, I have for the young people, is that there's nothing that can be achieved instantly or through the help of drugs or through help of, you know, giving up everything and living a life of... Um, giving up just mere wealth is not enough, you see, one has to work hard. Unless one has the sadhana, as you said, nothing can be achieved. So there must be total discipline and proper sadhana.
very difficult for a person, of, a person like myself, who is insatiable in demanding so much from the life, and also at the same time wanting to give so much. I am so deeply grateful to all of you for being here and wishing me for a long and happy life. I'll ask something more from you. I'll ask each of you to bless me so that till the end of my life, till the last day of my life, I can be active and creative. And try to achieve at least half of whatever I would like to and make all of you really very proud of me. Thank you. In those days I was very enthusiastic and people encouraged me to start schools. But after running it for a couple of years in Bombay and also in Los Angeles, uh, I closed them because I found that uh, as far as I'm concerned, I believe that our music is only possible to teach in the old Guru Parampara system. Of course, the schools are necessary and there are many schools running in India. As the saying goes that they make, they don't create calm sense, but they create calm sense, which means they can help you to understand music or appreciate music. But it's really impossible to become a good musician by learning in a college school. <laughs> And this old Guru Parampara system, Guru Kul system, is the best really, which means person to person. That's how our music, Shastra, Dharma, Yoga, everything has been passed down from the Guru to his Shishya. Days have changed and time has changed before a Guru could keep 10, 12 students at home, feed them and so that there was no problem about time. They could go on for years and years, you know, imbibe the music, not to learn. Yeah. 
morn to evening be and the aura and that whole atmosphere of gurus, you know, it was not just music but the way of life, which is very difficult today, I, I know. concentrate on two, three, four, maybe not more than that, and work very hard with them. Also there's a problem, see, it should be, as the saying goes, the Aadhaar, which means the correct type of student with the attitude, talent, hard working and patience which is very important. Unless one finds all this together, it's very hard to really teach. especially here in Hemangana, where apart from having those few students that I told you about whom I could teach, I would like to have visiting musicians and musicologists, scholars, to create an atmosphere so that there could be discussions and uh, in general the atmosphere should be such that one can learn without sitting down to learn.
I find already a whole group of musicians who, who are almost the next age group than, say, myself or Ustad Ali Akbar Khan or Bismillah Khan, I mean the group who are the elderly group today. And uh, the next group are really in very good shape and fine musicians. Next, and even the group after that, younger, there are very many promising uh, musicians. The whole thing is that because the whole tradition has changed and the chest age and the speed and communication, it has affected quite a bit uh, the new students, you know, because time element, they have less patience. They want to come out to form much sooner than we ever thought of doing. That's the only drawback, but you know, uh, as I said, I'm optimistic. <laughs> Now I want you to say the same thing but one thing, one of this each. For, for that you have to first say the last one first, like this. Ding. Like that, then once, then double up it. Ready? Two, na, three, four, five. Ready? 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 right position so that when you strike the right sound has to come. So not too much should be out, neither should it be completely pushed in. So that you have just enough strength both ways. Now we do use little oil because otherwise it cuts the finger, the strings. So you know just a little help. Now First and foremost thing is to tune the instrument properly. Sometimes you can tune it like this for the basic tuning in the beginning so that it's near. But for finer tuning it is better you tune it up like this. First the main strings. The 
सा इनो सा सारे गा मा पद है निसा सान जप मा गर सब सब नेम्स ऑफ दी नोट्स दी ओरिजिनल इज शरद ऋषभ मध्यम है शरद ऋषभ गांधार मध्यम पंचम धैवर निषा पर सारे गा मा पद नहीं है दी पॉप दी सेकंड स्ट्रिंग वन लेटर फर्स्ट ट्यून करेक्ट सा Then combination of da 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 Sometimes, occasionally, in a very rare, when when the space is too much, you can use the third finger. But mostly, avoid using any other finger than the two. And the basic rule is going in the higher notes, or you know, according to the sitar, going down like this. Always the first finger. And the last note, you have to use the second finger. For instance, if you play Padhanisa, and that's all, Sanidhapa Padhanisa. See? Or Padhanisa Re. So this is the basic thing. 
Now, the lesson that uh, I mentioned before, from pa to this girl, continuously, non-stop, without using any note twice. We'll do that in Kalyan Thak, Mati So, once I'll show you. One da and one chikai. Like. I came, I played the girl in this and then I came higher. Ah, yeah. I purposely did it to show you that. So it is, Ga is here, then you have to. Yeah. So, Sa, Ya, Da, Ya. Now, one thing is very important that while you practice, don't get fast. Don't raise the tempo. You have to be very precise on the thing, right? One, two. beginner, you just play straight and you don't have to pull the strings or anything, it's just... etc. But after you have got hold of it, the basic thing which in our music is very important are the means and the gamakas. There's no note in our classical music where we use it Staccato, like in the Western, you know, straight. It is always rounded. And for that, from the very beginning, we have a system of practicing which helps, like, for instance, in this practice, you should give a meal in Tha and in De, and in Tha again, and, and then while coming back, each note has to touch the next note. Uh, Above, like Next note is But when you pull it, if you shouldn't uh, hear the note coming back, it shouldn't be That's wrong. It has to be ended. This is what takes a little time to get it. Try just the Avarohana. Arohana is going up melody or, or the scale. Avarohana is coming down. This is Arohana. Avarohana. So Avarohana, let's do once. Ga, E, Ga, A, Re, Ta. Now, can I hear you do that? One, two, three, four. Right? 
ดาดิดิดิดิดิดิดาดิดิดาราดาราดิดิดิดิดาดิดาดิดาวันแอนจูดาดิดิดิดิดิดาดิดิดาราดาราดิดิดิดิดาดิดาดิดาดาดิดิดิดิดิดาดิดิดาราดาราดิดิดิดิดาดิดาดิดาวันที่ดาดีเดดีเดดีเดดาดีเดดาราวันแอนจูแอนดาดีเดดีเดดีเดดาดีเดดาราดาราดีเดดีเดดาดีดาดีเดดาราดีเดดาราดาราดีเดดีเดดาดีดาดีเดดาราดีเดดีเดดาดีดาดีเดดาราดีดาดีเดดาราดีดาดีเดดาราดีดาดีเดดาราดีดาดีเดดาราBasic practice for the means. 
the pulling the string you know mean which later on you can use as gamma calls with faster pulls of the string basic practice of mean is to one note you can do with one finger also because it's not just strain but one thing you have to note it is not it is it's a very subtle touch Like, 
enveloped by J and E on both sides, right? So, a ornamental star would become but you must go. Last note is hammered with this. Right. This is known as krantan. Krintan or krantan. Now, if you do twice before the krantan, like res, 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 anisa, or three times, that becomes zamzama. Zamzama, right? Sometimes, then there are mixed grantans like one sani and then one resani sa. Da, 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 pa, 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 da, pa, pa, da. All embellishments which are used uh, in a while from a bag. Same thing can be done on a mean dos, but through a mean, the instead of it can be done. Uh, it will come you know, when you practice. And remember that sarkam you learned in the long term? like you to remember, like you did in the first practice, you remember? So, make use of that thing whenever any Avarohan movement, like Gare Sani, so instead of this will sound like a mandolin, you know, but in our music each note has to have that Gamaka.
Endeavor. Endeavor, yeah. yeah. So, you know, these are sargams. Sargams, actually, sare, gama are the notes, but when you get a sargam, it is a fixed composition. It is something almost like a gut, but it is not a gut. The sargams are uh, bandish or fixed compositions in different talas. Find sargams in ek tal, rupak tal, chap tal, tin tal. But, and these are very good for anyone, and prac vocalist, flutist, sitar. This can be played on any instrument or even on voice. And on voice, of course, what we do, we first we practice with the name of this note. <laughs> Then we do it in aka, just a ah, 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 etc. Like that. And uh, the main thing about the circum is that first you practice very slow, then double, then double of that. So you have got, you know. Yeah. And by that, it makes it easier. And also it's a bit more interesting than practicing just basic things. And uh, sometimes we play. Sargam like a gap house. I don't know. Because they are, you know, they are like a gap. It has a sai and tara. A sai is the first part, as you know, the, the melody. What is actually a sai? A sai is anything that dwells till the nisha. Till the first part. And antara means the second part where you touch the sa, top sa. And go even ever. Tipa, according to the composition. Very important. Each of the guts, or even in vocal music, the songs, the khyal composition, or uh, for that matter, the old traditional trupad, uh, they all had the second part, antara, which is important. You know, in the trupad, old traditional style of singing, they had four parts: asthai antara, bhog abhog, or some sanchari abhog another two parts, but those are not popular. Now all our compositions, whether voice or instrumental, has to have two parts, asthai and andara. What about the manja? Part what about the manja? Manja. Manja. The, I knew the third part, the lower, lower is manja. Manja is like an offshoot, you know, some in between eight beats line, uh, like in a gut. Yeah, yeah. Manja is only for special starters. Mm -hmm. But uh, in general I'm saying as high and try any other questions. <laughs> and uh, actually what is important as I told you about it means See, as much as possible, you must try to play with each of these notes rounded. Not that's why, in generally, we say that Indian music uses more, is more rounded, whereas Western music is more square, cornered. Well, that's the basic way of saying. But each note in our music has to have a mean and a gamaka. That's very important. So, like a passage for the Western music where the glissando is a different approach. But so we don't slide. That's not the way to slide. We slide from directly from yeah. her to me. Even in slow it should be from one note to the other, but not touching the out intermediate. Yeah. It's not that.
started learning when she was about nine and a half. It wasn't my choice at the beginning, but I didn't hate it or anything. It was just kind of a, a bore for me. I started with very basic lessons and within a year teaching her short compositions, fixed different ragas and a lot of practice for both hands because that's the most difficult part for us to be able to hold the sitar properly the fingering, keep the hand positions and uh, not just on the frets the left hand also pulls the strings and that has to be practiced a lot and then the I had to change in many ways and teach her in a way that she can take more you know, giving her a lot of composed pieces, a lot of fixed pieces, so that ultimately she gradually can improvise herself. And that is the ultimate thing in our music, which she can and she, she will, I'm sure. I practice every day for about two hours on school days. My record so far is eight hours a day to do when I'm in India. Fantastic teaching. It, it, I feel so elated, really. Most of the time I will practice with my father, but sometimes, you know, if he's busy or if I have to do a lot of homework or something, I'll practice early on my own. Whereas with him, I'm actually learning about the ragas and stuff. Like, for instance, in the concert, if you notice, he'd play something and I would repeat it. And that's like what we would do learning. I would just be going back and forth and he would be improvising whatever and I'd be trying to absorb as much as I can learn the raga that way just by playing it after him. That's a very great thing for me because at this age I want to give her as much as I can and pass on the tradition what I have been blessed with. Yeah. Dara dil dil dar dar da, dara dil dil dar dar da. Yeah, our music also teaches a lot of things, not just entertainment, but also a great spiritual satisfaction. Indian music is the most complex system in the world. It can be so ageless, timeless. I think it works even today. We have a lot of fun, the three of us. I feel very happy. This is a beautiful place. There are students from India who come once in a while, stay here and learn. But I'm happy with my family. Wow, wow, wow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs>
Laying is one excitement where you are completely yourself and you are improvising new things. But while teaching, doing the same thing is another pleasure. Not so long. Da, 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 da. There are very few musicians, great musicians, who are also incredible teachers. And what I mean by incredible teachers are teachers who analyze what they teach, they break down what they teach, they tie it to where it comes from, what it is now and where it's going, and how it's going to relate to uh, that whole picture of mm. you being a performer. Acha, now, one thing, I forgot to tell you, sam sa hai. Sa. So, pam, bang, zang, gang, like that. Din, na, din, na, din, na, 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 din, na, din, din, din. My daughter, Anushka, I have great hopes on Anushka. She's blessed with such talent. It's really shocking sometimes. Shocking to see that how much she's like me. You know, I see myself in her at times, my young age and the way the passion, the humor, or you know, all the little things which were my characteristic, I see them all. In. Because that tongue is Then Then Okay? Gama <laughs> His disciples are really like his children to him. He just dotes on them and loves them all so much. They really give him the respect of a guru, but at the same time they just love him like a father, you know. 
they eat with him every day when, when they live with us and they talk about all kinds of things with him, personal problems and musical problems. Uh, he's, he's very close to his students. Being my teacher and my father was a lot tougher for him than it was for me because he's the one who's used to having many, many students and having them be a certain way with him. And, you know, the sort of relationship where there's so much respect from the student that he's able to almost command them to practice all night or sit with them for eight hours a day. And then I come along and I, at the beginning I think I was about eight or nine years old. And he really had to tailor the way he taught me, you know, just specifically for my needs because he couldn't get angry with me. I would start crying. So he had a tough time with that. And then we worked on it together. For me, it's just beautiful because I've got a father and teacher in one and I think that's made me a lot closer to him. It's a pity that I didn't start with her seriously when she was younger. I think it would have been a different story if we lived in India. But being in California, for instance, it is a life that she's along with all her friends and they are into everything. Listening all sorts of music, listening, seeing films, this, that, television. There's so much of distraction. But in spite of all that, she has this versatile mind in anything that she wants to do, she can do it, you know. She changes like a chameleon into different atmosphere with different dress, different people. She's fantastic.
It is different now. Pagasa. That part. See, it used to be. What? So he was doing that uh, up there. Because, because it was short, I'm uh, having one bar more. But, two, two, but he was playing, two, playing this with the guitar, so does he still <coughs> no, play with the guitar? Play once, the beginning. Okay? Da 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 da. We are in Pa now. Nipa, Kore Diki. Nipa. No, 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 Kore Diki. For the... Nipa, sir. Nipa. Da, 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 da. Sa, Nipa. Sa, Nipa. Yes. Now we have got it all set. All the uh, to clear the out of vision is important. Take that. Ready? Come to on. Take that. Take If we keep up to that, everywhere, act the collector short as a collector, it's not like that. Three notes always. There's one place where it's a person or a mother. Now, the first one. You didn't, why did you write? She's writing. I'm writing. Yeah. But then, if you don't need, that's all right. You can only. Yeah. So 
are is the sitar playing the and then guitar is doing no, the, the second part the guitar is doing this yes that's no 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 die and that the stop stop die and that the stop stop acha short ah die and that die and die Yeah, just stop there. I'm ready. Okay. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Cha. Yeah. So instead of repeating it, make it double and repeat. Right. Sita se. One, two, one, two, three, four. then ah and ta ah that's it now i feel uh, it sounds better as it was before two repeat then two repeat instead of one 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 It'll be our part twice and then your part twice. Uh, yeah. With the difference, the second time you play on the uh, higher octave. Yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. Take from this uh, fast part. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mamma da 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 da. 
Same thing, second time, lower. Uh. The continuous flow. So you have got a piece ready. <laughs> this is how I have always worked and this is how I have always uh, can work. I never can sit down and write and harmonize, or, but it, it has to be that flow. And, and this is based on not pure classical but folk element. You know, you can think of Banaras going in that boat Sing the scenes, what you are seeing, all the sadness and the happiness is like, you know, the whole ghat of Banaras. You can call that the Banaras ghat. Let's have it once more. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
So long, da 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 da. Now, we'll have some sitar lessons. Mani ni da pa, ma pa mani ni da pa, ma pa mani, ma pa mani ni da ma pa ma da da pa ma pa ma, ma pa pa ma da ma ma ga re ga ga re, ma pa pa ma da ma ma ga re ga ga re, re ga re ma ga pa ma da mani. Da 
Exactly like this, I have never done in my life, first time. And believe me, we didn't have any rehearsal or anything. It was by request, it was that I had to do this and I was very nervous how to do it. Thank you very much. To me, music, it is an addiction. It is just like the ecstasy of finding gems in the vast ocean. I think music transcends all the barrier. I do love to share the passion, the love, the ecstasy 
to my music. Amen. Wow. 